G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel. My two colour field sequential colour television camera system is starting to really take shape. I've been doing a fair bit of work on on mounting the motor and the, sp the spindle. Well, the spindle has been still yet to be mounted, but just um, the mounts for the motor and the spindle have been done, which is, you know, bits of wood. And, um, yep, my wooden brackets, mount the motor on a piece of uh, a plastic uh, top cover for the printer, <laughs> from one of the printers I cannibalised for parts. So, yep, the motor is now assembled to it and nice and firmly secured. The motor I used was from a fan that I picked up off off the street, or street on one of my Steptoe and Son curbside junk pickup runs, and yeah, it's nice and big and chunky. Surprisingly, the it seems to go a bit slow when I crank it up to max speed, but hopefully it'll be fast enough for this camera system. But yeah, I can only try. I'm sort of going by. I'm just doing this blindly and seeing how it all shapes up. But anyhow, um, it's starting to look like how I drew it on the diagram, except the uh, viewfinder, of course, is on the left-hand side and the and the uh, lens on the the camera on the right because the fact that the lens is um, situated closer to the left side of the camera, and I thought it'd be best putting it. From that side because it'd be closer to the color wheel anyway um so there it is camera viewfinder and extension lead to operate the viewfinder while not assembled to the camera yeah, this spindle i have to somehow secure it onto the motor spindle which i'd probably be using i'd probably use some heat shrink to thicken up the spindle spindle area there and and use some glue and that uh, trusty it's, it's trusty wood glue stuff very good for, mo for multiple adhesives or porous surfaces or, or non-porous surfaces I'm gonna use that for, for the spindle and um, yeah the of course I've yet got to cut out the perspex discs and for those discs i'm going to be using i'm going to be sticking cellophane as the color filters over them i'm going to be using well obviously i'll try for this two color system red and green but i kind of want to try um I want, to, I want to try aqua and orange so I've got yellow cellophane here that a layer of that and a layer of red will give me my orange and of course a layer of blue and a layer of green will give me my aqua so I'll be giving that a shot as well so it'll be interesting to see how this all shapes out hopefully when when I crank it up and have it spinning at the accurate speed, it'll it'll produce the colour picture that I want to see. Be very interesting. Be very interesting to see because I know I've made um I've made colour video stills from from um taking free cellophane uh, free cellophane filtered um, shots of a single object um. And the camera being in, in the dead set still position and combine them together on, on the computer and I have um, also experimented with with um, doing animated objects because of the fact they animate in the same way like for instance doing a playing a video clip off the computer screen three times and filtering each one for, to the video and then accurately combine them together and make make a decent color picture that works so now to do you know to do live color picture from a black and white camera that is a very cool and interesting concept so yeah i hope it all works out 
to my liking. And then yeah, I'll venture on to doing a three color, um, a, a proper free RGB color field sequential camera system. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's what I've done up to so far and it's coming along quite nicely. Anyhow, I'll keep you updated with further developments with this project. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.